Hey guys, Flyer from Elixir Notes here. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up and connect your TCP shield to your Minecraft server. So, what is TCP shield? TCP shield is basically a website that lets your Minecraft server have better routing and better DDoS protection for free and they have paid subscriptions too if you want. The first step is head over to the TCP Shield website and sign up. Then I'm gonna go sign up here. You can press the register button. Then you can enter your personal details here. After creating your account, first step is click the add network button. Then call it whatever you want. For example, I'll call my survival server. Then press the add, net add network button. Click that, and then click this, and then go over to the back end step. Click that, and then click the plus that add set. Here we go, and then just call it whatever. For example, I'll call my survival again, and then you need you'll need your server IP for this with the port. So I'll s simply go to the Elixir node panel, copy this, paste that in. Make sure to only turn this on if you know what you're doing, as it says here. Protocol should only be enabled if you know what exactly you're doing. So I'm going to click the save button. Click save. Then it should be okay. Second step is head over to your domain's DNS management website. Mine is current using Cloudflare, but you can use whatever. So. First step is press add record. Then for the type, you should type in C name. You should see that. Click that. And then if I want my players to connect using mc.hf haha lol.xyz, it will work like that. If I want to use my default domain, I'm just gonna make it the add. Just like that. And for the target required, head over your TCP shield dashboard, then copy this copy then paste that in and the target and then make sure this is turned off or else it won't work then for the detail just make it auto then save and then head over to your dashboard again click the add domain button click this recheck domain if it doesn't work that's fine don't panic just click this button then Click this and then you have to create a txt record now so txt then i use mine my own default domain so i'm gonna put it at add then content required save and then wait for a bit then press verify if it doesn't just go go wait until it works just like that and then, for example, my what we set a back end earlier, so we're gonna use this domain for the survival server. Press add, and you can turn this on if the if it's for a bad line proxy, but it is not, so I'm just gonna press add. After you're done setting domains and backends to your TCP shield, you just need to download their plugin. It should be in the domain tab on the step two. I'm currently using Spigot, so I'm gonna use the download latest bigot as of this version the required java version has been bound from 8 to 17 that same i'm using java 8 so i'm gonna use the old version download this after it's done downloading head over to your minecraft server files head over to your plugins folder then go ahead to the folder where you saved your plugin it's in my downloads folder so i'm just gonna drag this in dragging this in then restart your server start then do slash pl as you can see tcp shield is online as you can see i opened my game so let's connect to my server now so let's say my domain was hfahalol.xyz done then should work 
Now this is how you connect your TCP shield to your Minecraft server. Thank you for trusting Elixir Notes. Goodbye!